from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 485 for Thursday, <laughs> April 5th, 2023. This week we have banter, news, updates, opera gold from Visconti, two exciting restocks, spring colors from Lamy, a contest winner, a new contest, and a twist from Pelican that is coming soon. Hey, Lisa. Oh, God. Why did the peanut go out with the raisin? Oh, uh, why? Because it couldn't find a date. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I just talked about the location bumper this week. Yes, so exciting. Um, under construction shot of the soon-to-be new home of Anderson Pens, uh, located not much more than a mile uh, north of here of our present location. Uh, is this the ad yes. address? 1000 West Wisconsin Avenue. Uh, and, uh, yeah, about a mile north. Uh, big takeaway, too, is a uh, parking lot. Free, free parking, parking right there at the store. In a parking uh, lot. No parallel parking, which I cannot do. Um, did I mention that's, free parking? That's, that's, that's true, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm excited about the parking. I, I'm excited you're here on, the, on, on APTV. Right. Look at that. Uh, so let's talk time frame. Uh, yeah, I, apparently you you made the decision, so I don't know what's, what's going on. Uh, the tentative plan is to move in mid-June. We will shut down the current location in mid-June, probably the 17th, which is a Saturday. And then we will take um, the following two weeks of June to move all the fixtures, all the product, to get everything set up. And then the plan would be to reopen right after 4th of July. Okay, excellent. Well, also in that time frame, we have we have a vacation. We have a um, uh, Dave's on vacation. D G Dave generally takes vacation. Um, Brian and I are going to the St. Louis Pen, Pen Show, Show so. and the whole company has Fourth of July off, and so it just kind of makes sense to incorporate all of that. Um, there will be um, shipping will occur. It, there may yes. be a delay for a couple days while we we get. The fixtures moved over, and some of that will already have moved, but the big stuff, we are acknowledging that we perhaps should not be the ones doing it, and uh, we will hire much younger, stronger people to do it for us. Uh, but the website will still be on. Yes. You can still order online. Yes. Um, we'll try to get everything out as, as quickly as humanly possible. Yes. So. But we will have a lot of that stuff already set up before we close the current store. So yep. we're excited about that. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be minimal, minimal downtime. Yes. Uh, as far as uh, shipping is concerned. So that'll, that's the goal. Yes. So uh, today, Thursday, April 6th. Yes. You know what day this is? National Pajama Day. I'm excited. <laughs> Very enthusiastic <laughs> about <laughs> working in your PJs. What's wrong with working in your PJs? Well, we're in the store, so that's know, really it's not... Right, yeah. So cozy up in your PJs and with a pen to warm your heart while we close out a chilly winter. Speaking of chilly. Chilly? Yeah. What about chilly? We'll, we'll get to that in a minute, I oh, guess, okay. when we talk about moving the store. I don't know what... Okay. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, April 7th, is World Health Day. Uh, it is the 75th anniversary of the founding day of the World Health Organization. Wow. And this is a day to focus on and raise awareness around health. Each year focuses on a specific health topic. This year's topic is health for all. It's pretty um, generic. It, it is pretty generic, but uh, it's also very important. Yes. So. Um, <laughs> it is also National No Housework Day. I am yes. all about that. Don't do any housework. Focus on your health by resting and writing instead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. You do that. I was waiting for a snarky comment, but... Uh, that's all right. Uh, and of I'll course, of course, yeah, great. <laughs> uh, this Sunday, April 9th, of course, is Easter Sunday. So we have some news. We do. AP Chicago is officially closed, and I now officially reside at home in Appleton once again. Ooh, how was the move? The move was <laughs> Literally exhausting. Right. It was, it was um, pretty nuts. I had uh, closed on March 25th, spent that whole following week doing inventory and packing. Brian came down on Wednesday, and um, we did hire um, a crew to do some of the um, heavy lifting. Of course, it took twice as long as, um, as, as, yeah. as we expected. Yes, so. it did. 
Um, and then we, <laughs> we came back and decided we just were going to power through. And then there was a giant, really nasty storm in Appleton. So we unloaded for about five hours in the torrential rain and the cold. When we left Chicago, it was like 60 something. Yeah, and we nice. got here and it, it was, was 34 and like slushy rain. Um, so that was. It was impossible to see, impossible to drive. I, I, we would have been, it would have taken us five hours to, uh, uh, to get, get home. Yeah. And it um, happened, so. so luckily we got out of Chicago in time. The drive itself wasn't too bad. No, no, it was, it was pretty good. It was just the unloading. So, cause it was, it was during the, during the afternoon. So we, right. Uh, um, but we did, we did go to the Lyric Opera. We did. We had a uh, fabulous time. Although I do confess that. I started to doze off a couple times. <laughs> yeah, well, we had a, kind of an agreement. I so, said, you know what, if, if if you fall asleep, I'm just going to let you sleep. And uh, if I fall asleep and snore, just wake me up because that's, yeah. that's not in the score, so to speak. Right. Uh, but it was uh, uh, Bizet's Carmen. Uh, and um, It was beautiful. We had a great beautiful. time. Yep. Yep. It, and good. it was nice to um, get away from the store and away from being just so immersed in the final bits of closure and have a little bit of fun. And then we went directly from there um, to have dinner with some friends. And weren't you? I was pleasantly, I was not expecting. Uh, I don't think pleasantly is enough. Pleasantly you were is not, uh, well, giddy like a schoolboy. This doesn't happen, I'd say often, but I, ever is probably more appropriate word. Uh, so we, we went over to our friend Eric and, 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 and Flavia's uh, house for dinner. Uh, and uh, Eric presented me with a gift. And, and here it is. I thought we were all going to need to leave the room and give Brian a moment. If you know, you know. Uh, and this is an Estherbrook SJ. And I know some of you are going, okay, big deal. Uh, made in oh, Brazil. Oh, oh. It's a big deal. And Which is a big deal in and of itself. And it's in this lovely blue, which they didn't make anywhere else. Uh, it's this electric blue. It's it, it's, gorgeous. It's outrageous. It's, it's, it, they're just so, you know, in all the years we've been collecting, this is now my second Brazilian Estherbrook, and it's not because I'm not looking. They just, they don't ever turn up, uh, and 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 Eric is, is is from Brazil, and he actually got this in Brazil. Yes. And apparently, this was the only. They actually went to a show. Is what it sounded like. Uh, was the only one at the show that was made in Brazil, That's and and they're marked cool. on on the barrel uh, for Brazil. So. Uh, very, very neat. Uh, thanks, Eric. Really appreciate it. I knew you um, were getting a pen. I had no idea what it was. And they made they made some cool pens in Brazil. Made them in cool colors. Right. They also made this one's a lever filler, uh, but they also made them in uh, a very strange aerometric filler, which is kind of cool. So, uh, but they're impossible to find. Really impossible to find. So, yeah, you were nice. just giddy. It was it was great to see because. For us, it's really rare to find something we don't. It doesn't happen have. very often. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it's about once or twice a year, and I've had two so far this year. So I think my, you're done. My, my year's wow. probably done. That's early for you. It is early for me. So, all right. but all right, and then uh, we've at, got at some point we are going to have to pen in Brian's pocket, which is pretty much hidden. Well, that makes it harder then to, t- to identify. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Why do you need an Easter egg hunting license? Because no poaching is allowed. Uh, in our just in section, we had a little uh, last minute uh, alteration. The Esterbrook product mentioned la- in last week's APTV uh, was relieved, uh, released on Tuesday for only a brief, a very short time. Uh, when uh, Kenro slash Esterbrook let us know that the release date of said product actually had been changed to this next Friday, April 14th. So if you got our email uh, on the email list, you know what we were talking about. If not, you're going to have to wait until the 14th. And then we will talk about it again. So we're going to we're gonna leave that hanging there. We were premature. But, but uh, well, it, it, was, it was unclear. We were, we, we were not premature. It was unclear and the date had been changed and it wasn't. Yep. So, so we're good. Uh, it wasn't anything we did wrong. Um, but we do have we do have a cool new product that came in. Speaking of opera. Uh, speaking of opera, uh, I, I, this is this is super cool. I was pretty excited when I saw this come out. Visconti Opera Gold. These are pretty. Um, this is the uh, Visconti Opera Collection has been reimagined, uh, drawing inspiration from the history of the Lyric Opera, which coincidentally is the name of the opera house we went to. 
but it is uh, the Opera Gold is made of rich swirling resin, accented by the matte gold plated trim with a larger gold plated steel nib. It's a big ass nib. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love the brush gold. Yes, trim. yes, very nice. Uh, the fountain pen uses uh, Visconti's patented double reservoir power filler and features a second ink window around the ring of the pen behind the nib. A uh, fountain pen also uses, uh, it closes with the Visconti's patented hook safe lock closure. And uh, the fountain pen uses the newly designed piston rod, available in red, blue, and black, fine, medium, and broad steel nibs. Uh, now, this is the same section nib and feed as on the new Mythos, a larger a larger nib than on the old uh, Rembrandts, but yeah, it's a, nice, it's a larger piston rod, uh, double reservoir with the steel nib, which means it's not a $900 pen, which is pretty cool. And that hook safe lock just kind of twists and snap in place. Uh, but you've got, what color, you've got red. I have red. Um, and then they come, the blue is, is quite lovely, and it's got like blue with little yellowish gold yes uh, that's really regal. That's, that's really beautiful. nice and I kind of like this one a lot I, I didn't think I was gonna like this I like the red but this is the black which actually has a little bit of gold yellowish gold uh, swirls in it which is very nice uh, with that matte uh, that brush trim is it's quite nice so it's essentially it's like every other opera opera master um, but with the steel dip which means it's not again it's not priced at nine hundred dollars so uh, nice nice metal uh, it's got a nice weight to it. on the end. So. Steel nibs available in fine, medium, and broad. Absolutely. Restocked. You know, this is really cool because I haven't seen some of these. Uh, the Gorgeous Pilot Custom 743 fountain pen has a black resin body with gold-plated clip and trim. Uh, the 14 karat gold nib is a number 15 size. This yep. is a big nib. Comes in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, and Falcon. Now, does the Falcon have? No, no this is not the Falcon. Oh. We have a Falcon. Okay. But yeah, it's got the little cutouts. The little cutouts. Yep, yeah, just like Which, the nine, just like the nine twelve FA, but bigger, and then it has the nice scroll work. That is beautiful. Um, so the Pilot Custom Seven Forty Three has the same body size and shape as the familiar Pilot Custom Eight Twenty Three, but the Seven Forty Three uses a Con Seventy converter or a cartridge filling system, uh, both of which are included with the pen. So yeah. Push. So instead of the um, internal filling system of the A23, this one has the Con 70, or you can use a cartridge. Um, the pen comes with a full bottle of ink in a unique design. I do love that ink bottle. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a, yeah, you can't get that bottle separately. I know. Which is kind of weird, but um, if you want it, you got to buy the pen. So there you go. So you could buy, it's like... If you Jeez. buy, it's the most expensive bottle of ink ever, but it comes with a free, bo free <laughs> with pen. With a free pen. You know. Yeah. Uh, no, they're, 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 they're solid black, not transparent like the 823. Uh, and and, and the, the nib has this lovely scroll work on it, unlike the 912, which doesn't have that. At least with the FA, it doesn't have the scroll work. But, um, yeah, this is the double broad, which is pretty super. Cool. We were excited when these were announced. Yeah, yeah, we've been actually been waiting for this for. We knew this was coming for about over a year, and uh, and, and here it is. So, um, uh, just got those back in stock, including the FA. Great. Uh, another restock, uh, Magna Carta. I, th I don't think I've ever seen the these. Denima. This is cool. Yeah, so it's a fantastic cool pen and a, and a great value per Eric. Um, it's made of, well, it says made of denim in a Macarta material. Uh, so I'm just going to call it Macarta because it, it, it reminds me very much of yes. the, the Twisby Macarta or the Sailor Made of Macarta. Um, the Magna Carta denim features rhodium trim, uh, a steel number six size nib with an ebonite feed, not a plastic feed, an ebonite feed. Very cool. Uh, which is one of the things I like about Magna Carta is all their pens come with ebonite feeds. Um, and ebonite is a, a, a a very nice material. It, it helps the ink flow better than plastic. Uh, it's a cartridge converter. Uh, comes with the converter and available uh, in fine, medium, and broad. And the section matches, of course. I the love pen. it when the section matches. Yeah, yeah. love it. So this it's is... kind of a soft feel to it. 
And yeah. if, you, if you look at it in certain spots, you can see like there's a little bit of fuzziness to it yeah, of the Micarta wearing and it's, it, it will wear over time. Uh, it will get less, uh, it'll get um, a little bit more shiny from the oils in your skin. This is really but a gorgeous, it's a really, it's really gorgeous cool material. Pen. Yeah, if you don't Very have cool. a Micarta pen, this and it's and it's large too. It's not. It's, it it's got a, a it's pen. got a big girth to it. Um, so if you like a fatter pen, but it's not heavy because Micarta is fairly it's light. Very light. So neat, neat pen. I love this pen. Cool. Do you have one? Uh, I do not have one. I, I actually I have a two. I have the Twisby Micarta, and I have uh, a Sailor Micarta, but I don't have the Magna Magna Carta Micarta. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> There's something a little, that's maybe a little easier to pronounce. Uh, Magna Carta Micarta. There we go. Uh, the Lamy Safari Special Edition 2023 for the 2023. I'm excited about these. Um, spring Green, Light Rose, and Aqua Sky. Um, they all come in a fountain pen, a rollerball, and a ballpoint. Uh Perfect for adding a touch of freshness and vibrancy to your writing. The spring green is a beautiful shade that evokes feelings of nature and new beginnings. I wish my lawn looked that green. <laughs> Give it time. Uh, the light rose is a soft, delicate shade of pink it's that adds pink, a touch it? of femininity and elegance to your writing. It absolutely is pink. And the aqua sky safari is a stunning shade of a... Um, Blue that reminds you of clear skies and serene oceans. Yeah, I like that. I this like is, that. and Amazing. they all have um, color matching clips. We should mention these are not as some of the the Lamy company photos are, are not as good as they probably could be. It's not a matte finish. This, it is these a glossy, are, shiny finish. Yes. Um, yes. I've seen some talk online of people wondering if it's if it's glossy or shiny. It is is clearly. Yes, it's this a glossy, is a shiny, shiny body. Finish. Yes. Um, and the uh, the cap jewels are also color matched, which is great. Yep. Everything it's it's all one color. Yes. Uh, pre sales started yesterday, March 29th, and uh, the pens can ship and or be picked up in store as of Saturday, April first. Is yesterday March 29th? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, pre sale started. We have them. We're shipping them. Come get them. Uh, come get them. Yeah, they're available. I read what's written. Um, and oh. for for a while supplies last, and yes. I think Steph and I may have mentioned this last week, uh, you when you buy the get... fountain pen, you get the free matching pen sleeve. These are cool. I won't put it in there and ruin the perfection, but these are great. Yeah, yeah, nice. And, and I like that Lamy's been doing this with all their new releases uh, for the fountain pens that provide a, a matching pen sleeve, which is which is super cool. Yes. So. What kind of bunny can't hop? A chocolate bunny. All right, we had a contest uh, from last <laughs> week's APTV, and the question was, if you were a pen... What pen would you be? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, answers to this question were both fun and all over the map. Uh, here are just a few of the pens people would be if they were a pen. Parker 61, Esterbrook JR in Fantasia. That is a great color. That's a cool color, yeah. Lamy 2000, Mont Blanc Hemingway Broad. Is that Eric? Uh, he's got a Hemingway, but I don't think huh? it's a Broad. Uh, Schaefer Targa, great Pilot pen. Custom 823, Cross Townsend. Uh, Lamy Safari, Mont Blanc 149. Sailor Cocktail Series, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, yes. Uh, Cross Towns and Star Wars Chewbacca, you go. Somebody needs to shave. Waterman Karen, <laughs> uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Dwarf, Namiki Emperor. Okay. Awesome. Sailor King of Pen, Schaefer Lifetime, Twisby Echo. Schaefer No Nonsense Esterbrook JR Pumpkin Latte. That's a pretty color, too. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I could be a latte. Uh, 1912 <laughs> Maybe Ton, Todd Swan C2. That's very specific. Uh, Pilot Kakano and a Kaweco Sport. What would you be? Uh, I don't I don't know. What would I be? I could be. I would be a fountain pen of some sort. Well, yeah. Clearly. But anyway, we had some comments. You want to read some comments? All right. So Zane Murray says, if I were a pen, I would be a Monteverde. Beautiful, but temperamental. I like that. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Traditional Larry says, I guess if I had to be a pen, it would have to be the Mont Blanc 149 because a lot of people would like me. Okay. 
That's a good reason. It's classic. It's yes. traditional. It's classic. There you go. Uh, Amadi Garavi. Uh, apologies if I didn't get that right. Uh, Pilot Custom 823. I may not be for everyone, but I will not let you down. And that is absolutely true about nice. the 823. Absolutely yes. true. Uh, uh, Tim Chi says, I would be a Namiki Emperor. I heard it's good to be king. So maybe a Sailor King of Penn then. Uh, I was going to say Pilot Custom 823, but didn't want to be just a number. Ha ha. Great show again. <laughs> Thanks, Tim Chi. Nice. Greg M. says, Namiki Emperor in Vermilion. If they, if you have to be one, be a big red one. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. that's about right. Yeah. All right. And the winner? winner? Go ahead. Uh, a winner is uh, Noreen. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Roche. Roche. Apologies again if I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, and Noreen says, uh, if I were a pen, I'd be a sailor, pro gear, slim, blue dwarf with an extra fine nib. Watching Anderson Pens TV has been my guilty pleasure for years. Congratulations, uh, Noreen. Write to Eric at eric at andersonpens.com, and uh, he will take care of getting that uh, $20 credit put on your Anderson Pens account. We have a new survey. We do have a new survey, but we need to do a little background first. A little background? Okay. Yes. Uh, one of our staff, who is not currently here but is often here, is having a big birthday that ends birthday. in a zero. Ends in a zero. So... This next contest is going to net you a $60. Six zero. Six zero dollar um, store credit on your account. Great. And the question is. Do we know who that is? Who the winner is? No, who the, the I person do. is. He's normally, oh, he's normally, he's, he's he nor he is normally, is normally here standing here with us, with, with you. Us. Okay. Yes. Uh, so the contest this week for your $60 Anderson Pens. Uh, credit on your account is what is your favorite Easter ink? Do you have an Easter ink? I will now. Will now. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, are, are, I, I guess I, I'm not sure. Is, is Easter ink? Is it? Uh, is it more of a pastelly kind of thing, or is it? Think Easter eggs. Think Easter eggs. Are, are they more pastelly? <laughs> 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 I haven't done Easter eggs since I was like. Nine. Six. Okay. Seven. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. Often they are pastelly. Uh, like like this. Yes. Like this exactly. right here. Yeah. Okay. But. It's whatever Easter and spring says to you. Okay. And if you would, wish Eric a happy birthday. Yes, absolutely. Wish him a happy birthday. Yes. So, please let us know in the comments section. Cool. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I heard Justin wasn't. Justin was not a fan. Uh, and that's okay. That's okay. And we, we may have to we have to discuss this. Um well, but I thought I, we're keeping Justin. Yes, absolutely. So <laughs> we're just going to get rid of this pen. We're not going to do this. We're done. You know. Um, no, coming soon. Uh, this is a cool pen. So we had a visit from our, our Pelican rep uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, Gary, and uh, it was it was good to see him. You had met him in Chicago before. Uh -huh. uh, he came up here just to see us. Of course, uh, obviously, there's no other pen store in, in the state. Um, but he uh, and I had seen this pen years ago, uh, actually on uh, one of our friends Joel and, and Cheryl's table. They had these. Um, the Pelican Twist, and, and it's a cool, inexpensive um, steel nib fountain pen. Uh, it is a, I don't know if you want to read that. Sure. So you, you... Trendy fountain pens in a twisted design. Twist pens lie comfortably oh. in the hand due to the ergonomic shape. These are designed for lefties, loved by righties. Suitable for both right and left-handed writers. So the caveat there is, is uh, we don't, I don't know necessarily know if it was designed for lefties, but it seems to fit in the hands nicely for lefties. But Did Justin Justin's a lefty, and say he, that it was comfortable. It, 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 was it comfortable to hold, at least? It's, it's comfortable. Okay. I just don't like the way the nib lines up. When I'm okay, you 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 hold it a little bit differently. Yeah. So so well, if you're if you're if you're a lefty, it. your mileage may vary. Uh, but I, I liked how at least if you held it in your left hand, it it, it curved anyway. Stainless steel medium <laughs> nib, so they only come with a medium nib. Is yes, that uh, actually there there are there are two uh, that come that are available with a fine nib. But yeah, for the most part, they're okay. all 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 medium nibs. Made in Germany, uh, and the Pelican Twist fountain pen is a cartridge converter filling pen. Mm -hmm. um, the stainless steel medium generally nib is a smooth writer and does tend to run a bit on the wider side. Yeah, it's nice. Comes really with nice. a long international cartridge, but will also fit a standard Pelican international converter, which is sold separately. And I think that's super cool that they put a long cartridge. Yes. In. Like nobody does that. 
Well, no Pelican one. and Waterman are pretty this much the only not, ones who make yeah, the long cartridges. Not too many days, do that, yeah. Right. And it comes in 15, 1, 5 different colors. Oh, my goodness. And I love the names. Black, silver, girly rose, neon green, neon <laughs> yellow, frosted blue, shine mystic. I don't know what that is. That's this one here. Okay. Yeah. Deep blue, fury red, neo mint, sweet lilac, fresh melon, night breeze, cold Alaska. I wonder what that looks like. And bright sunshine. Yeah. So this is the this is the shine mystic. This one is actually discontinued. So it's like a rainbowy uh, kind yeah, of. Yeah. It, it, it's it changes between green and purple depending on how you hold it. Like my mood um, ring. But apparently, yes, yes. But apparently, it's so difficult to make they can't actually make it anymore. Okay. Uh, but I, I just love this pen. I love how the the grip is and how your hand just kind of rests in there. So you do not need a Magna Carta Denima. I could just give you that. Well, anyway. I already have this one. And that'd be great. And this one was free. And that'd be great. Yeah, it would be great. Yeah, I've got there somebody. Go. That, I love it. It's a friction fit cap. Of course, it only goes on, you know. And does it snap? Oh, it snaps snap into place. Yeah, it doesn't post. Love a snap You don't want to cap. post it. but um, Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool pen. So uh, these are coming soon. Um, hopefully, we can get some. There were very few of, of, of these Shine Mystic left, so I tried to grab as many as we could. Um, it, is, it is really a super color. But it's a little bit chunky. But I, I think it, it feels great in the hand, and I like I like how smooth the nib is, and it's it's but spot on. The section does narrow; it's got kind of a triangular shape, so it doesn't feel as chunky. So yeah. this is kind of cool. yeah, it's just like a safari. It's got a triangulated section. It's neat. It's really super neat. Very cool. And there's a little hint here. I'll tell you. I'll oh, tell you no. this. So it actually has a I barrel. Did it, wrong. it has a barrel imprint here. This is for right. Pelican. Okay. So if you open it up uh, as a righty, if I open it up with that facing me. Look the imprint that. always faces you. Okay. So that's the proper way to open it up and hold it. Okay. So you don't, because otherwise you could open it up upside down and right. then you're going to rotate it. And I'm so confused. So if you always, always open it with, with the, the, imprint. the imprint up, that's, you're ready to go. Very cool. So these are coming soon uh, and they're, 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 they're inexpensive right. uh, and they're fun, fun little pens. No clips, uh, but they seal really well too because we've had, I've had these in, um, I had this pen for, gosh, a week and a half. It sat sat on my desk for over a week. I picked it up the other day when we got back from Chicago, and it fires up right away. And even though it doesn't have a clip, it also doesn't roll. doesn't really roll. So no. that's yeah. – yeah. I'm a big fan of anything that is not going to roll off my desk because I tend to be a little clumsy. No way. Yeah. Do we want to roll right into this here? We do. And let's talk about – the pen in Brian's pocket. <laughs> Norm 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 we, do we do that at the end? Oh. We do that at the end. <laughs> That's a reminder. It's at the top. I know it is. I know it is. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, student. Next time, <laughs> more talk. talk about pens, ink, and paper. I did it wrong. You did it wrong. Sorry. We um, get used to it. We do not have a store in Chicago anymore, so... I think we should talk. We should just mention that at the I end. That store has closed. Okay. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hey, guess what? I got a pen in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know if Justin got a picture of it. Uh, did you? Can you recognize what the pen is? You have no idea. You I'm don't care at this point. You just I want this to be over with. Um, and this, of course, is uh, the I, I I use uh, Retro Fifty Ones a lot here in the store, especially for uh, when we do shipping. And this, of course, is our own very own. Uh, Palmer uh, Retro 51. Which is on its last run. And when yep. the Palmer and the Chicago are sold out, we will not yeah, be making not any more. So, so we should what we have that. What we yes. have is what we have. So, But we did have some really cool ideas for new stuff. We got we got new stuff, but uh, I'm going to wait until, I think we should wait until we get rid of, get rid yes. of the Palmers and the we Chicago. So sell these out and then start the new process. Very good. Fresh. Cool. So, thanks for joining us. Bye.